Drugs found inside Justin's house. Zach talks sex on the first date. And our first look at Glee's 100th episode with Chase and Diana. All this and more on today's Rundown. Hey you guys, it is Tuesday, January 14th. I'm Katie Krause, this is Deidre Behar. I'm so happy to be back. Oh my gosh, we're so glad you're feeling better. I told the Cleverettes yesterday you had the flu. It was not pretty, But she, just say. She looks phenomenal, you guys, and she's gonna give us the details on today's top story all about Justin Bieber's latest antics. <laughs> A bad day if you're Justin Bieber and also his BFF Lil Za. 11 cop cars, you guys, showed up to his home in Calabasas early this morning. They served him with a felony search warrant and they were just looking for anything that placed him at the scene of the crime uh, that showed him that he was involved in the whole egg attack with his neighbor last week. We played you guys that audio in last week's uh, Friday's episode of DHR, actually. We'll paste the link below if you missed it. But here's the thing, Lil Za was arrested for cocaine possession. I guess the cocaine was just sprawled Everywhere. out on a table inside Justin's home and he's the one, he took the hit, he took the fall for it. Uh, here you see the picture of him getting handcuffed and I guess the cops did find enough evidence and now it's gonna go into a bigger investigation but they found a security system, they dismantled it, they took it with them. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on all of this? My lord, I, I said it last week and I'll say it again, I was back on Team Bieber. He was yeah. you know, doing well, he took a little family getaway, hanging out with his brother and sister, and then he goes and viciously does an egg attack on his neighbor's home. And I loved how the police pointed out that the homes in the neighborhood are like homes of just such grand stature. There's $20,000 worth of damage, and this is what really makes me so upset. To this day, the neighbor has not heard from Justin. No apology. I know. Justin has not offered to pay for the bills on the on the repairs and, for the and home. And he has a 13-year-old daughter who mm -hmm. made that initial 911 know, call. She how sounded, could he not? She sounded so terrified. How can Justin be a human being and not have any empathy for this family? Now look, I don't know all the details here. We don't know if maybe there's more to this story, if the neighbor did something to provoke Justin, if they have a history yeah. of beef with one another as neighbors can sometimes tend to do. All we do know is that the neighbor is claiming he was minding his own business and all of a sudden his home is pelted with eggs. Right, and we do know that they have a history and that they've had a few altercations, exchange of words, if you will, yeah. in the past. And here's what a felony search warrant means. This means Justin could potentially uh, serve some time in jail. Yeah, this is scary. a very serious offense. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, especially on Twitter, were tweeting over to Clever News saying, uh, I think the drugs were actually Justin's and Lil Za is just taking, taking the, the blame. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying, no, Justin's with Selena. He would never, ever do that. And a lot of people are just really, you know, this side or that side. I feel like a not a lot of people are in the in the middle, in the gray area yeah. on this one. I just want to point something out really quickly. We're getting a lot of comments that we're um we're not kind team enough. Bieber, I we're not know. kind enough to Team Thank Bieber. You for and up. I think it's important that you guys understand it's not our opinions that matter here. We're just telling you the facts, the truth, what the cops have reported this morning, what other media outlets like TMZ have reported. None of this is just Katie and me standing here pointing our finger and making up lies. No. It's all facts and strict evidence. And I feel like if anything, we're very favorable towards Justin. 100%. Because when he does do something great, you know, we are the first ones to say, applaud. This is yes. the, the type of uh, behavior that we like to see from Justin. This 100%. is the, the type of story that we like to report on about mm -hmm. Justin. It's not our fault that he's been getting in trouble and this is just the latest uh, tip of the iceberg mishap I'll say if that's a fair way to say absolutely it we'll be sure to keep you guys posted with any news or any updates uh, we'll see what happens with Lil Za and if any advancements are made with this upcoming investigation well, on to happier and lighter news. I think it's really, really exciting, you guys. Today, it was announced that Taylor Swift will be taking the stage at the Grammy Awards. She is gonna put on one heck of a performance. If we know T-Swizzle, she really pulls out all the stops. I'm very excited. Also, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis are gonna be performing, and we already knew Katy Perry, Lord, Robin Thicke, Pharrell. There's gonna be so much talent there that night. It is going to be Amazing. Yeah, one thing that I love about the Grammys is all the duets and collaborations. Oh, yes. 
And I know in the past we've seen Taylor Swift perform with Miley Cyrus. We've seen Beyonce perform with Prince. We've seen Eminem, Eminem and, and Elton, Elton John. John. So this year, do you think that there's maybe something, uh, something in the works? Could Taylor maybe perform with Lord? We know that they're good friends. What yeah. about Katy Perry? Well, so I don't know. This is my thought. It was announced also that Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr are going to be performing, of course, from oh the Beatles. Gosh. I know, of course, who doesn't love Paul McCartney? But I know Taylor is a huge fan. I think it would be pretty special to see them on stage together. Wow, that would be huge. Yes. And I know you guys have already been sticking with Clever for all of the 2014 award show coverage, so make sure you're subscribed for more from Trophy Life. Well, let's move over to some Glee news. Oh, yes. You guys, we finally have our first look at Chase Crawford and Diana Agron. Mark Salling also in the photo from the 100th episode. As we told you guys last week, Chase is actually going to be playing a character named Biff, and <laughs> he will be Quinn's new love interest. We're hearing he's a bit of a bad boy, a bit of a degenerate, and uh, for all those who like Santana and Rachel and Kurt over in NYC, yes. get excited because after the 100th episode, the remainder of this season will be shot entirely in New York, in the Big Apple. Wow, so I know you're the Glee expert. What does that mean for all the other characters? So is everybody making the move? Not everybody. So at the TCA panel, Kevin Riley, who's the president over at Fox, said it wouldn't make sense to literally bring everybody Up over route. to New York. Yes. So some of them will, and then some of them will just keep making appearances during special episodes, kind of similar to what they did with the, with the first uh, cast, if you will, like the yes. original OGs of Glee. Who do you want to go over to New York? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm a Tina fan. I just you love really Tina. Tina. I think okay. she's fun, and I think she's funny and quirky, and I would love to see what kind of trouble she could get into yeah. over in the Big Apple. How about you? I really, really hope Blaine. I think it will be Blaine. Yes. So just so we can have some more Clane action. Yes. And then I'm also hoping that Sam will move on over to the Big Apple. Some sad news really fast, you guys. In the 100th episode, Sue will finally dismantle New Directions. Why? I don't know. I don't like I that. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we can look forward to that. Glee does return February 25th. Less than a year after dating, Evan Ross and Ashley Simpson are engaged to be married. Uh, I feel like they've had a very whirlwind, whirlwind romance. I feel like very strong feelings. We saw them on the carpet together at the um, Catching Fire premiere. Mm -hmm. I know you talked to Evan, and I just feel like he and her were so attached at the hip that night, very supportive and yeah. loving of one another. And they were in Hawaii, and he put a ring on it. So they uploaded a photo to Instagram, and this is what Ashley said. My big Baby Love and I are engaged, hallelujah Hawaii. And then Evan tweeted, the love of my life said yes. Mm. So it's very cool. Um, I saw earlier a side-by-side -side comparison of Pete Wentz's ring that he proposed to Ashley with and Evan's ring that he proposed to Ashley with. Which ring do you like more? One's more vintage, one's more traditional. Yeah, I think this is actually a little bit more of Ashley's style. It is very vintage. And if you look at her style, she's very bohemian yes. and she's very chic. And that's kind of what she likes. Yes. And you're right, when I talked to Evan at the Catching Fire premiere, Ashley was standing right behind him. Oh, yeah. I know he's been very vocal, and she's been very vocal about how supportive they are of one another. They spend so much time together, and uh, I hope that this lasts. I hope that at the wedding, either Jessica Simpson or Diana Ross performs. Ooh. So, Zac Efron, Miles Teller, and Michael B. Jordan are up in the Silicon Valley area today on this that awkward moment press tour. Oh yes. And you guys, they're at Twitter headquarters answering so many questions. They took a private jet up there. Fancy. Yeah, there's a there's a funny picture of Zach kind of on the phone and you see Miles laughing <laughs> and sitting there. And here's some of the questions that they got. Have you ever had any awkward fanboy moments like you met your favorite celeb but something happened? Are you ready for Zach's answer? I'm ready. Who do you meet? He said, I was at a party and at one point was having a conversation with Rob Pattinson, Vin Diesel, and Marilyn Manson. Oh. Rob, yeah. Vin, and yeah. Marilyn. That is the most ridiculous grouping yeah. of celebrities I've ever heard. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and then here, thank you, first of all, to from Miley to Zach for, for asking this question. Uh, they said, I think every girl wants to ask Zach Efron, are you single? Are you ready for Zach's answer? Yes. Actually, I'm triple. But I'm fun. 
Thanks for that joke. You and go, Zach. answering the question. I love it. So now we're confirmed he is single. We think he's single. He didn't really confirm it. I don't. What does triple mean? I don't care. I think it means he's single. You guys, so. hashtag Katie dating Zach. Oh, I like that hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> or how about Zach date Katie? Fine, perfect. <laughs> Either one. Okay, and then you guys get this. Here's what I don't like. Here's what makes me maybe not want to date Zach. Why? He is all for sleeping with a girl on the first Aww. date. I know, who would have thought? So he did this interview with Glamour Magazine, all of the guys did actually, and when the reporter said, would you respect a girl who would have sex on the first date, Efron said, quote, sex is a beautiful thing, I don't object, but Michael B. Jordan kind of did object. He said, no, no, I mean maybe, but a little less. Are I'm you with you on are this Are you surprised one. by that? I, you know what? Zach's a good looking guy. He's a sweet person. I assume he's a gentleman. Um, I don't know, I guess he's entitled to do whatever he wants to do, but that's not how I would that's behave. Not, yeah, if he took me on a date, he would not be getting lucky. Let's no, no, no. That. All right, well you guys, it's Tuesday, so we're gonna be doing a little Tuesday favorite action for ya. I feel like we get so many comments and tweets and messages about, where'd you get your dress? Katie, I love your necklace, where's it from? Deidre, where's your outfit from? So today, we want to tribute our good friends over at Urban Outfitters. They hook us up. I'm wearing Urban. I'm wearing Urban. You're wearing Urban. They just have such great pricing, and I feel like their selection of clothing is just so expansive. The you can seriously the get anything. The sale section is where it's at. So like, you guys, this is $10. It's really good material. It's good sparkly. Top. Yes, it, it fits with a million different things, skirts, pants, shorts, whatever you want to do. I almost kind of even like it. Eh. Eh, maybe not, eh. but this is what I'm kind of going for. Like yes. high-waisted short yes. with this. I mean, those well, are really cheap too, right? These shorts, you guys, they also come in like a plethora of other patterns and colors. $30. $30. Dollars. Can't beat it. I and know the quality's it. so good. And then if you need a dress for like an event or a luncheon or going out with just, just hanging out friends, with some friends. Anything. I mean this has cool shoulder pads in it. It's very like fitted to your bod and it's got cool spikes on the shoulders. And this is twenty dollars. I mean that's a joke. This it's maxi so dress. Affordable. You guys know Deidre and I love our maxi dresses. We our, do. It comes to mind our day with Allie and AJ. We were all wearing like, all four maxi of us. dresses. Yes. This Thumbs up if you remember that. It's ten dollars. It's beautiful. Ten dollars. Detailing on the top for this maxi dress. So hit up the sales section over at Urban Outfitters. I promise you, lots of good finds. If you don't live in the U.S., mm -hmm. I feel like UrbanOutfitters.com is the place for you. Mm -hmm. So before we let you guys go, let's kind of recap this whole Justin Lil Zaw situation. I want to know: Do you think all the drugs really were Lil Zaws, or do you think? He just kind of took the hit because, you know, better him to go down for this than Justin Bieber. Let yikes. us know in the comment section. Yikes, yikes. I want to know, who are you most excited to see at the Grammy Awards? Personally, I'm ready for Taylor Swift's performance. Maybe you're a Robin Thicke fan. Maybe you're a Beatles fan. Let us know below. Yes, hit us up in that comment section. Don't forget, keep getting those Star of the Week votes in. Why should you be clever at? Like this video and subscribe. This is Deidre. I'm Katie, and we'll see you later. Bye.